Hi, this is Evan from WCCF Tech, and NVIDIA's entry-level GeForce MX570 Mobility Graphics Chip has been tested within the Geekbench OpenCL GPU benchmark. The NVIDIA GeForce MX570 and the GeForce RTX 2050 have a lot of similarities. Both are mobility GPUs based on the Ampere GA107 GPU architecture in ROC 2048 CUDA cores, 16 ray tracing cores, 64 tensor cores, and a 64-bit bus interface. The RTX 2050 comes with 4GB of memory, while the MX570 features 2GB of memory. While the core specs are the same, the GPU clocks vary significantly due to the different TDPs. The RTX 2050 operates at up to 1,477 MHz with a 30 to 40 watt TGP, while the MX570 operates at 1,155 MHz with a TGP of just 15 to 25 watts. Now the NVIDIA GeForce MX570 in this particular benchmark was spotted within the HP Zon 66 14 inch G5 laptop. This laptop rocks an Intel Core i5 1235U CPU and said MX570 GPU. It is hard to tell what power limit was designated to the GPU within the HP laptop, but it is operating at its maximum 1,155 MHz clock, so we can assume that it was running at the 20 to 25 watt range. Now, compared to the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2050, the MX570 should offer 90 to 95% better performance when compared to the RTX 2050. The performance demonstrated by the MX570 shows that it should be a better option if you are in the market for such a laptop. Although it operates at a lower clock speed, the GPU will offer almost similar performance while consuming considerably less power and will even come at a cheaper price point given that there's no RTX tax attached to it. It also retains the DLS and RT features of the RTX products. The only major downside is that it has 2GB of VRAM, so that it makes the 2050 a slightly better option when considering an upgrade over an integrated GPU laptop. But what do you think? Would you get a laptop with the MX570 or the RTX 2050? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more fantastic tech news.